Hey guys, Steven here with Abby. Tomorrow, Monday, I head out. Monday the 16th. Head back down to Chattanooga. Just chilling with the cat. Since she'll be all alone. I'm just ready for vacation. Can I get up real quick? Are you gonna let me up? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Good girl. All right. He's got my luggage almost packed, the cooler almost packed, bringing some water bottles, some junk food. I always go cheap on like restaurants every time I go on vacation. Yeah, it's well earned break from work, all that kind of stuff. Alrighty, I guess I'll just see you in the morning. All right, guys, it is now the next day. Making sure I got everything I need. <clears throat> looks like a. Actually, no, it looks like. Bring one more thing, extra hearing aid batteries, just in case. I don't have anything over here. All right, I'm ready to hit the road. All right, guys, one hour later, I've, I'm an hour away from home already. Stopped for lunch. Now it's time to head down to Chattanooga, stay in a different hotel. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, we're now in the hotel. Hotel one of three. Here's the door. Desk area, wardrobe that doesn't even shut all the way. Got a fridge, TV, king size bed, all my stuff. And a bathroom. Pretty nice sized room, only here for one night. That seems pretty comfy. And yeah. Safely made it to the hotel. I'm ready for tomorrow's adventures. All right, guys, it is the next day. It is Tuesday the 17th. I had a little bit of trouble falling asleep at first, but in the end I fell asleep and woke up at like 7.52. I was originally gonna get up earlier so I could be one of the first ones to breakfast, but, oh uh, well. <laughs> yeah, the room treated me nicely. Getting ready to check out and head to the, to the trains for the day. Then later today, we're gonna go to a rock garden in Calhoun, Georgia. Then spend the night in Kennesaw and tomorrow do Explore some historic Georgia towns. I think that'll be pretty cool. Apparently I'm missing my room key. <laughs> Probably in my pocket. Oh, never mind. It's back here. Behind my phone. It's stuck to my case. Alrighty. About to check out. I'll see y'all at the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. Alright guys, we made it to the Tennessee... Whoa. <laughs> Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. The one we didn't get to do on the original solo trip. I gotta be, gotta board the train at 1045. So I got some time to walk around. Walk around their yard, thought where all the other train cars are. I don't think we get to go in any of them. I'm not sure if we can or not.
But yeah, I'm just gonna walk around and chill, enjoying my vacation. <laughs> That's what it's all about. So yeah, let's walk around. Don't climb. Oh, look. Similar to car 549 on Blue Ridge Scenic Railway. Stainless steel. Except this is Greenville and Atlantic Coast, not mine, not Blue Ridge Scenic Railway, which we will see tomorrow. I'm not sure if we're allowed in any of them or not. But, but I'll just keep walking and see if we are. Alright guys, just at the exhibit. Got 10 minutes until I need to board the train. Y'all know me, I'm always ahead of schedule. <laughs> Especially like arriving in Blue Ridge Depot like three hours before the train. So we're gonna head back down to the train station. Use the bathroom, get ready for the train. And yeah, we're gonna ride the train again. Well, I did it like back in 2014. So almost 10 years ago, I was supposed to do it last year on the original solo trip, but y'all know how that went. Hey guys, Steven here. I got some explaining to do. <clears throat> so, if, if you could tell right now, I'm, this is being filmed in my room, which I'm home right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. I left right after the Blue Ridge train. But yeah, let's ride the train. Until 1962, when the Norfolk and Western Railway's corporate parent, the Pennsylvania Railroad, acquired the cars and rebuilt them as high capacity commuter coaches for the 1964 World's Fair. They're 85 feet long and they hold 86 people. On the left hand side of the train, we're currently passing our display yard. Uh, as for coaches, you all are welcome to wander around but not go inside of, I do regret. Uh, there, and on track one here, you'll see the contents for the Somerville Steam Special, our Georgia bound excursion trips that operate on. This Saturday and Sunday. And you'll see that Pullman number four green there on the classic heavyweight dining car number 3164, built by the Pullman Car Manufacturing Company in 1925. Uh, just across that car park is that two tone brown structure. Uh, you can get to it by following that pathway lined in potted plants. That's our museum exhibit hall. Admission there is complimenting your ticket. Uh, we highly recommend. Excuse me, if you've not visited there beforehand, that you do so following your train ride, and hopefully you'll enjoy the exhibits inside there. Picking our way out of the yard here, you'll see our two other coaches from the Nancy Hanks, the 907 and the 661, as well as our heavyweight Pullman milk coach number 1000. That's a typical 1920s coach with opening windows and riveted sides. These coaches you all were riding in were quite new. Uh, it was originally operated by the Nashville Chattanooga and St. Louis Railway to service that plant, which supplied TNT from the Second World War up to early in Desert Storm. 986 feet long, every inch of it hand dug between 1856 and 1858. For comparison, dynamite was invented in As we exit the tunnel, the single track will about
All right, guys, we're back in the truck. Finally finished the original solo trip. Year and a half later. I smell like diesel now. <laughs> also, made sure to get some brochures. This is for some Wild West theme park adventure. We can't do it this trip because it's all the way in North Carolina and we're going to Georgia next. But we're going to be doing the Incline Railway, which is in Chattanooga. First, I'm going to get myself some lunch. I'm hungry. Didn't really have a big breakfast this morning. Just kind of woke up late and a lot of the stuff was already eaten up. So all I, all I had was cereal. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some lunch and then do the incline railway and then head down to Georgia. We just finished the incline railway. Look at that. Pretty cool. That's where I'm going. I'm gonna get back in the truck. Alright. That was fun. I didn't film the way up, but I was able to get some footage up up there and on the way back down. It wasn't easy as I'm afraid of heights, but I got them done. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get on out here and head down to Calhoun, Georgia, and then Kennesaw, Georgia, where we're staying the night. All right, guys, I officially made it to the Rock Garden in Calhoun, Georgia. Vacation folder. All right, wait. there we go. So yeah, I don't know how long we're gonna be here. Probably for like an hour, maybe. Maybe an hour and a half. I'm not sure how long it takes to walk through. But other than that, it should be fun. So yeah, let's get to it. Thank you. 
All right, guys, we're back in the truck from another little outing. It's time to head down to Kennesaw, Georgia for our second night in Hotel 2 of 3. That's where we're going to end off this video. All right, guys, we made it to the second hotel, Hotel 2 of 3. Pretty nice. Almost kind of similar to the one in Chattanooga I just stayed at. I'm on the fifth floor. Okay. See my truck down. Right. Down there. It's down there. <laughs> the glare is just kind of hard for me to let, like, get it. Here for one night, then tomorrow we're going to go down. We're spending the night in Blue Ridge, which I'm excited for that. I think I'm ready to go and ride the train. Plus, much longer doing being solo traveling on this trip. Yeah, we we had a great, I had a great time today. Many activities too. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. Please leave a like or be sure to subscribe. Leave a like on this video. I'll just see you on the next one.